As we prepare to hear the gospel read and the word proclaimed, would you pray with me and for me? O oh God, as the scripture is read and your word is sung and proclaimed, open our ears that we may hear all that you would say to us this day. For we pray in the strong name of Christ our Lord. Amen. Early in Luke's Gospel, just after Jesus had called together his disciples, he began to teach them about what they would need in order to be his representatives in the world. So listen to what Luke tells us that Jesus said on that occasion. Then Jesus looked up at his disciples and said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you will be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude you, revile you, and defame you on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy. For surely your reward is great in heaven, for that is what their ancestors did to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are full now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who are laughing now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for that is what their ancestors did to the false prophets. But listen to what I say. Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who abuse you. If anyone strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from anyone who takes away your coat, do not withhold even your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you. And if anyone takes away your goods, do not ask for them again. Do to others as you would have them do to you. The Word of God for the people of God. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Well, good morning, friends. Before the service started, David and I were in the narthex with... Katie, she had those M&Ms, and she would not share them with either one of us. And she promised us that we could have some after the children's service. And you know what? She took those M&Ms right out the door with her. So what? A professor at Duke Divinity School took his young son to see the majestic Duke Chapel. The sun was shining through the magnificent stained glass windows, painting the walls and floors and pews with beautiful colors. He said to his son, These windows show the pictures of the saints. And then he asked him, do you know who the saints are? And the boy looked up at the awesome windows and said to his father, Sure, I know who the saints are. They are the ones who the sun shines through. Today is All Saints Sunday. It is the day for the church to remember and give thanks for those blessed persons through whom Jesus, the Son of God, shines through. On this day, we mostly remember these reflectors of God's glory, these saints, as being those beloved ones who have gone before us in life and death and now into heaven. We remember the patriarchs and the prophets, the apostles and the martyrs, the evangelists and the holy ones who fought the good fight, finished the race, 
kept the faith and now rest from their labors. Today, we recall parents and spouses, children and siblings, friends and mentors who now live with God and with us await the resurrection. We remind ourselves on a day like this that we, we in all times and in all places are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, all those faithful people who have gone before us, some whom we know and hold dear, and others who are known only to God. This great cloud of witnesses are those who, who surround us as we make our journey through life, cheering us on, if you will, encouraging us in the walk of faithfulness. These are the people that we remember as the ones through whom the light of Christ has shone into our world and into our very lives. It is a good and right thing that we do this on this day as we remember the ordinary as well as the extraordinary saints who today are gathered around the throne of God. But as we consider this passage of Scripture, I can't help but hear it as a call to you and to me, to be saints. I can't help but hear in this, in this scripture and on this day the invitation to all of us to be saints. Saints aren't any more perfect than the rest of us because really the saints are any of us. The saints are any of us who are led by the Holy Spirit to reflect the love of God in Christ Jesus to all of those who are around us. Saints are all of us, every one of us, as we answer the call of Jesus to reflect His light into the world. In our tradition, we count saints as those who move through life with faith and compassion, with generosity and grace, those whose lives and words point us toward Jesus and are exemplified in His way in the world. In our tradition, in our tradition, saints are people. Extraordinary people, ordinary people. Saints are people who touch the lives of others with the touch of Jesus. Saints are the people who bless the spirit of others with the blessing of Jesus. Saints Saints are the ones who love one another with the love of Jesus, a love that is indiscriminate, a love that is unending, a love that is grace-filled. These, these are the ones through whom the light of Jesus shines into our world not did shine, not even will shine, but shines right now in this place, in this moment. The incredible truth about All Saints Day is that in the eyes of God, in the mind of God, in the heart of God, every one of us, all of us, regardless of who we are, every one of us have within us the possibility of sainthood. God chooses saints. 
We don't make ourselves saints even by doing saintly things. The church doesn't make saints. God makes saints. God chooses us, chooses you, chooses me. God chooses us. God claims us to be vessels through whom the light of God in Christ Jesus shines into our world. Every one of us, every one of us have within us the possibility of sainthood. And we realize that possibility as we accept God's call to us to live saintly lives to bless those who need blessing, especially those who are in the throes of life's pain, and to love all of God's creation, even those who abuse us. It is to accept God's call to be the light reflected through us into the world. In the early part of the summer, I went to Raleigh to celebrate my aunt's life. She was one of the last, I have one other aunt left, one of the last of my fathers and mothers, sisters and brothers, brothers-in-laws and sisters-in-laws. They're now all but one gone. And that service began with the whole congregation rising to sing during the processional a beautiful little song called, I Sing the Song of the Saints of God. I thought about singing it to you this morning, but some people discouraged me from doing that. But I want you to hear the words. Actually, in a few moments, Keith is going to play it. I sing the songs of the saints of God, patient and brave and true, who toiled and fought and lived and died for the Lord they loved and knew. And one was a doctor and one was a queen and one was a shepherdess on the green. They were all of them saints of God. And I mean God helping to be one too. They loved their Lord so dear, so dear, and His love made them strong. They followed the right for Jesus' sake their whole good lives long. And one was a soldier, and one was a priest, and one was slain by fierce wild beasts. And there's not any reason, no, not the least, why I shouldn't be one too. They live not only in ages past, there are hundreds of thousands still. The world is bright with the joyous saints who love to do Jesus' will. You meet them in school, on the street, in the store, in the church, by the sea, in the house next door. They, you, we are the saints of God whether rich or poor. And I, I mean to be one too. On this All Saints Sunday, we gather. We gather not, not just to remember those who have predeceased us, those who are gathered around the throne of God, those who are washed in the blood of the Lamb and have put on the white robes of righteousness, we gather to remember them, yes, with tear and smile. But we also gather here to remind each other that we have resident within us the possibility to be saints, to be reflectors, of God's light into the world. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.